Oh, my legs are on my channel. This is so weird. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am all of a sudden questioning why I'm sitting down and willingly doing this because I, I'm, I mean, is it too late to tap out of this? I don't know that I wanna do this. Um, no, you know what? Focus, do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna play the ultimate beauty science experiment today because I am not just mixing all my highlighters together or all my foundations together or all my powders together. Actually, I only did one of those, but you know, we've all watched that type of a trend. And I think Safia is the one that started it. I wanna give the proper credit. Here's the scoop, you guys. I have decided to mix all of my self tanners together to see what happens. I think this is gonna be a total disaster. Like, you know, a lot of these videos, you mix a little of this, a dash of that, a dash of this, and you come up with the best product of your life. And, you know, my mixing the highlighters together was no different. I loved the little mixture, the little concoction that I came up with was perfect, and I did wear it again and again, but I'm not gonna like pull everything out and, and mix it all up Every, like that just does not make any sense to me. I'm not gonna do that every time. So in front of me, oh, we're doing this. I like a good self tan, you guys. I like to wear SPF and avoid the sun when I can, but I love being bronzed. And right now it is like 5,000 million degrees in California. It is so hot outside, which I love, but also, you need to wear shorts. You need to wear clothing where your skin is gonna be exposed and you want that skin to look good, right? So I have my bowl, I have a whisk, and let's just start mixing things together and then we're gonna see what happens. Obviously, self-tanner has to stay on you for at least like four hours, six hours. I'm probably gonna wear this into the evening, rinse it off, show you guys what happens, and then show you also the next day what it looks like then. Um, I'm not doing this on my face. No, we're not doing that. It's not happening. We're doing the legs and we'll just go from there and see what ends up taking place. Uh, my legs are already shaved, exfoliated, ready and prepped, set to go. And we're gonna start with a little loving tan. This is one of my favorites. I highly recommend this if you want a natural looking tan and you don't like streaks. I mean, who does? This truly is one of the easier ones to use. Now we're gonna take Self Tan Express. We're, why do I feel like we're going on a train ride? We're just tanning our legs. Okay, this is the Saint-Tropez Self Tan Express. So we're already running into a weird situation where this is gonna develop a lot faster than the Loving Tan. This develops in an hour, but yeah, we're doing it anyway. Actually smells really good. Then we're gonna take a little bit of this Express Bronzing Mousse, Carora. Carora, am I saying that right? I got it at a hair show and I always wanted to try it out, but then I kept using um, Vita Liberata and then Loving Tan. Those are like my two favorites. I also like Saint Tropez. This is the Medium Dark Supreme Bronzette. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I feel like I'm mixing like hair color. Could this be dangerous? Like mixing all these chemicals together? Now we're gonna take these seven day tanner. This says it lasts for seven days. Huh, it helps disguise cellulite. Okay, cool. Uh, this one I haven't used either. I have a whole drawer filled with self tanner. And to be honest, I just go for the ones that I know are not scary and that work for me. And that does tend to be loving tan. Mm. I just painted my nails. <laughs> All right, we have four down. Now we're gonna take the Maui Babe Sunless Tanner. This I'm actually really excited about, not for this video, but just for this summer. I recently found this and Maui Babe is something that I used to use a lot when I was bad about being out in the sun and whenever I would go to Hawaii, I would use it. It smells like coffee and just the scent reminds me of Maui so much, but I am, older, wiser, and smarter now, and I know that you need some freaking SPF if you're outside. Oh, it's thick. Moving on, Mystic Tan. 
Oh my gosh, how many of you guys have used a Mystic Tanner? I was so into that. You put the bonnet on, you put the little booties on, you stand in there like this, you hold your breath. I would really try to hold my breath the whole time and the machine like sprays you down, you turn around and sometimes it looks awesome and sometimes you go home and you're like, what the hell? You know, and you have like a streak somewhere of something that like dripped. My worst like self tan story, you guys, actually I have a couple. Um, my worst, one of the worst <laughs> is leaving and immediately like with a tank top on, putting my seatbelt on and I had like a seatbelt stripe on my self tan, like it moved it off. And they said, don't worry, it's a bronzer. If it like touches anything, that's not the color that's developing. But even when I rinsed off and like it developed the next day, I had this like stripe right here from my seatbelt. That was a bad week. Um, The other story, you guys are gonna die, die. Oh my God, this is the worst. Okay, so um, let me focus for a moment. This is the Mocha Kissed Bronzer. This is the Mystic Tan Confident Flirty Kissed Customizable Bronzer Optimistic Mocha. Wow, fun. Oh my God, there is so much going on on the front of this bottle. All right, we're gonna go in with it. A little hit of this. Ooh. Let me tell you my embarrassing story. Okay, so you guys know when you go and get a self tan, you're butt naked, or I mean, I guess you could go in a bikini, but like, do you really want those tan lines? Like you probably don't, right? You probably don't want tan lines. I personally don't want tan lines. So whenever I go and do a self tan, like spray tan, I get like butt naked. And I was doing like, they tell you like, make a claw with your hand and put your arms up like this, bend your knees. And you're just like butt naked with someone that has like a hose like this and they're basically just like spraying you down and they see naked bodies all day and it's just a body, you know, like our body is just a body. That's fine, that's good. I'm sure whoever's spraying you down or you know, whether it's a, a spray tan or a bikini wax, like they've seen it all, it's fine. So anyway, they're spraying you down, but it's still kind of weird for the person getting it done, you know, like I'm like, <laughs> I'm naked, you know, like, it's just kind of weird, but I'm like, well, I really, I really want to tan. So I'm in there being hosed down and the girl steps back and this happened a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't think she, yeah, okay, this happened a couple of years ago. The girl steps back and she's like, and she like pauses dramatically for a moment and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> what's happening? And she moves forward again with her thing. She's like, you look really familiar. And I'm like, oh, really? And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, Tati? She's like, I watch your YouTube channel. And I'm just like, great. Like tits out, just like the full thing. Like I'm just, I, I, I was so happy. Like I am happy <laughs> to meet a subscriber any day of the week, but it was, absolutely embarrassing and hilarious to be freaking butt naked in a bonnet in booties like this. You know, like, oh my God, I can't. We have a job to finish. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of Vita Liberata. This is the phenomenal tan that lasts three weeks. Oh my God, why am I doing this? Um, this one really doesn't last three weeks. I've used this one, it's fantastic. Um, we'll do a little yummy. Okay, we're gonna do the Vera Spa Beyond Tan. This is that same Mystic Tan bottle design, like it wants to be upside down. Ooh. Okay, that one is like straight lotion. Ooh, I've never used this. This is the Million Dollar Tan Mermaid Mousse Extreme. I like that, Extreme, Dark Sunless Tanning Mousse with Tan Lock Technology. All right, what makes it mermaidy though? like golden. Ooh, it's pretty. Guys, we're close. I have one more thing that I want to put in here. Why do I feel like this is gonna have a weird freaking chemical reaction? My whole studio might explode. Okay. That was not smart. Oh, it's getting on my hands. Bad idea. I just, I wanted to mix them all for you guys. This one actually is really good. This is like an aerosol. Like this is the closest that you will get to a spray tan at home. This is the Design Skin Faux Natural Sunless. All right, I'm taking my rings off. We're ready to stir.
the next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is um, I'm wearing my ugly shorts today. I know they're uneven. I did not want to destroy my good ones. Ooh, could you see my, oh, my shirt? Ew. Oh, my legs are on my channel. This is so weird. Um, ignore the random bruises. She likes to be clumsy. Okay, I have this guy right here because I am not sticking my hand in that bowl. Do you wanna hand me the bowl? Yes. Thank you, assistant. Oh, thank you, assistant James. This is a horrible idea. We're just gonna go for it and see what happens. I will get a better shot after, but we're just... Oh dear Lord. Oh, it is a very weird consistency and it kind of resembles baby diarrhea. Self-tan, oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh my God, who wiped their diaper on me. <laughs> that looks so gross. Golden. Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool guys. I will see you in about four to six hours. All right, you guys, this is the update for all of my tanners mixed. My legs are really super tan right now. Uh, it has been about six hours. Oh, now you can see all my bruises. Oh my gosh, this is from standing up at my desk. I always bang into it. This is from my coffee table because I stand up and go bam. This is not bad. Like even, dare I show my feet on the internet. Uh, the feet look a little crazy because it kind of just gathered in areas stronger than others, so it's a little blotchy. But you guys, da -da -da -da, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with myself tan. If anything, what this is doing is making me want to use self tanner. Look how white my face is compared to my legs. Holy smokes we meet again for the mixing all of my tanners uh end of the video i have my final results because i slept in this overnight please look at how white my arms are and how tan my legs are would you see the difference it's like magic okay the only thing i don't like are my feet they tanned very weird and a little uneven but my legs don't look bad and the weirdest thing about this you guys is in the shower, it's like nothing rinsed off. Usually when you put on a tanner and you rinse it off in the shower, like brown water will go down the drain, like nothing came off. So I'm so weirded out by that. I actually think this looks really good. It looks really good. I like it. It doesn't look terribly fake. It has all the right tones. What is happening with this whole trend of mixing literally anything together? and having it turn out good. I'm trying to do my sign off and not flash you guys. Why am I in a towel on the internet? Holy crap, my legs are so tan. Yes, fake vacation. All right, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and share the video. I love you so much. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.